So welcome to the second lecture on MATLAB, where we're going to talk about the layout. In essence, we're going to describe each and every component you're seeing in front of you. So when you start MATLAB, this is what you see. You get the current folder, which tells you where MATLAB is open at the moment. So at the moment, I am in a directory called users, which contains a, another directory called Ahmed Bazi and which itself contains a directory called Google Drive and so on until basics, 00.basics. So if you want to really know where you are, I think the command for that is pwd. And it's not a MATLAB command, no. It's a terminal command by Linux. Okay, if you're on Windows, I think it's not pwd, it's something equivalent. I'm not sure what it is. Anyways, right now I am in this path and all the folders which are inside this path should appear here. So let me show you what I mean. If I go back one step, I am currently in the, you know, in the directory called 01.essentials. Make sure PWD right here. And inside essentials, I've got all those folders now, going back inside basics, I could just, you know, right click. If I want to go back, I could just hit on any one of those. And there you go. Okay. You just enter them like you'd normally enter any folder. Okay. So that's what the current folder is. It just shows you what folders or files are inside your current folder. Next off is the command window. And it allows you to enter commands at the command line indicated by the prompt. So those two greater than signs is the prompt. And it basically is waiting from the user to enter commands. So let's say I'm going to enter a command called, I don't know, theme magic five. So right now I called MATLAB's function called magic and I passed it the parameter five. We're going to discuss functions in later lectures, but for the moment, just showing you what this command line means. You could enter commands. That's basically it. MATLAB is waiting for you to talk to it. And when you told it magic five, it responded with this five by five matrix, which is the magic matrix according to MATLAB. Now, in case you enter something wrong, MATLAB's going to get angry. It's going to tell you, I don't have this function. Did you mean this function? So MATLAB is being really gentle. It's being really kind with us and it's suggesting the correct functions. It happens a lot with us human beings that we do mistakes and we enter, you know, we mistakenly enter a, a, an additional, you know, alphabet, but that's okay with my class. Okay, so that's it for the command window. We'll be seeing it a lot during this course. And another important component of the interface is the workspace. And basically allows you to explore your data that you create or import from files. So that being said, I see right now ANS, which stands for answer. It's the same name, it's the same variable name on your calculator. This is the most recent computation you've done. So let me clear everything out, clear all, let me clear the command window. Right now, my workspace is empty. Let's say during my function or my script, I declared a variable called a, and it was set to two plus three. As you can see right now in my workspace, I've got a equal to five. I could indeed modify a as such. You see it updated on your workspace. This also allows for multiple variables, of course. So you've got a b, b is b square, which is 49, and so on. So the workspace allows you to keep track of what variables are currently in the memory. Last but not least, you've got the command history and it shows you all the commands you've entered so far in the command window. That's it for this one. And the next one, we'll be talking about matrices and arrays. I'll see you then.